G'day guys, welcome back to Spaces Arcade. Today I'm going to take you through all the new features and the bug fixes for the arcade time capsule. This is version 2.0.1 guys. Let's get straight into it with the first feature which is totally awesome and that is smooth locomotion. So now guys, moving through the arcade, I am just using my left joystick here and I can smoothly move around. Now I have got snap turning on my right but I can change that so if you want to use snap turning for moving sideways you still can and if I still want to teleport I just use the right hand controller and I can teleport around as well guys so you've still got full teleporting and snap turning on the right and on the left I can do smooth motion and then if I don't want to do snap turning like this I simply go to the menu and in here now we have a option called smooth rotation just click that and now when I turn I am doing smooth rotation so I've got a full nice smooth way of moving around the arcade guys <laughs> it's so 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 beautiful the cores coming down to a cabinet the nice thing now is you can position yourself so well and you know with smooth motion you get yourself right in front no worries whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. slide along to another machine <laughs> it's so much better guys so i still get a little bit dizzy myself with the uh, smooth sideways motion it's really bizarre whereas this front motion for me is it's just awesome i don't get i don't feel woozy at all but this side motion and whoo Still trying to get still trying to get used to that but it is so good to just line yourself up against machines now get yourself sorted so that's smooth uh, locomotion awesome addition alrighty so the next cool little feature is on cabs like the Simpsons we have an option to choose different characters you might be thinking well how do I choose you know which coin slot to choose your character well, you could do it before, but you couldn't really see easily which coin slot you were using. So what I'm going to do is start the game, reach in there and start it. And now if I press the trigger, you can see on the left hand side here, it cycles through with a big number now. It used to be very small up in the top left corner. And that now is the coin slot, guys. So you can choose which one you want, which character you want, number three. Then uh, put your coin in. There you go, and I am Bart now, number three. So it's dead easy, <laughs> and you can now see the number. So that is a cool new feature. Okay, we're down on the Pasadena level. I just thought I would hop down here because it's just such a lovely environment. Just we can uh, spin around here, guys, <laughs> and have a look. So nice with the smooth <laughs> locomotion. Got the Spacey's logo up on the TV. So yeah guys, uh, one of the other changes, now I don't have music going at the moment, obviously for copyright, um, but now when you change your music up and down, if I did have music here, I could put, pump it up, and it shows me up the top there, the volume now. And uh, the cool thing is, is that once I set that, and then I actually hop and teleport to another level, then that music level, guys, will stay the same on each of the levels. So. Just so you know, in terms of the new uh, patch download, once you download it and install it, it has no music in it at all. But the cool new feature is you can add your own music. And we're gonna look at that right at the end of this video. Uh, but yeah, you can add all your own music and you can have music on all the levels except for level six, which is currently silent. Okay guys, so Half Deck, the developer, he has gone through and he has made changes to some of the attract uh, sound volume and also some of the game volume so there was some feedback that was given about the volume of some of the uh the track mode sequences and also the games themselves and he's gone he hasn't listed them exactly what he's changed but he's gone through and made some adjustments that he feels more comfortable with and it's his arcade so he's adjusted that to uh, to suit him uh, but also based on the feedback that's been received so you should find that there it's a little bit more balanced okay the next cool feature guys is that you can adjust your height 
when you're in the uh, seated mode, get yourself lined up. If I wanted to adjust that a little bit, I'll just uh, look at my keyboard here. And on the plus and minus, I can now adjust it and make the height up higher or a little bit lower. All right, so you've got fine tune adjustment now for the exact height that you would uh, like to play. So that is a really nice feature. The only thing about this feature is it doesn't uh, hold between floors. So if you change floors, you will reset your height and you'll have to adjust it again. Of course, remember, you've still got the button to go up and down. Uh, if you want to sit at some of the candy cabs and the stand-up cabs, but you've just got this additional adjustment now, which is awesome for those people that need it. Okay, the next feature is the vector games have just been adjusted so that now we have the beam width is set at two guys. So it's just a little bit more, a little bit closer to vectors. It's really hard to, e to show, emulate the vectors, obviously on a non-vector display. Um, but it's a little bit closer now, and we did sort of do quite a bit of tests here with see the asteroids going through to see, and I actually did it against some real um, asteroid machines that both I have and a friend has, and we sort of got it fairly close here with with a um, an uplift to two in terms of the size of the beam. It's just that the sources are so much brighter than the rest of the the vectors but it's just really hard to get right in main guys and these early main versions don't have a lot of different options to change however if you don't like that beam width if you think it's too thick you can go into main and you can head down to the slider controls and in here you've got the beam width and if you want to make it less you could do that um, if you like it, you know, a little bit like that. Uh, you can, uh, you could change the screen gamma, but it doesn't actually hold. It does hold the beam width though. So anyway, you can certainly do that. And uh, as you can see, the beam width there has changed. So yeah, do it how you like, but two does seem as close to a real machine uh, as currently possible. Okay, another feature is that if you are in the seating or standing mode, that setting is preserved when you change floors now. So if I change floor and I head up to, say, the uh, fifth floor. And you can see I'm still at the same height. So I'm not dropped down before. Previously, I would, I would change floors and I'd be back down here again. <laughs> so that's a nice little uh, adjustment. And guys, the last little feature is something that you won't necessarily uh, know if you didn't come across the problem before, um, but it was detected that there was some uh, warning messages and red, very slight at the top of the ceiling. Sometimes would come up about texture pools being exceeded. And now the texture pool, it was one uh, one gig and now it's been upped to two gig and I don't believe you will see any of those warning messages anymore. I think it affected some of the people that had Pimax uh, headsets but it also I was able to reproduce it if I ran around the arcade really quickly uh, but now that warning message has gone guys. So that's the features, again, we'll come back to the music at the very end and just how you load up your music. Let's just quickly go through the bug fixes in this release. All right, guys, so let's look at the bug fixes in this release. Uh, when we looked at the Simpsons and we could change the coin slot, some people were having a problem where it was going from one to three, back to one to three, instead of one, two, three, four across the slots. That uh, issue has been fixed. Um, there was a issue previously where you adjusted the um, seated mode height and then when you teleported it miscalculated uh, standing and the seated mode height again. Now I can't remember actually seeing that problem but if you had that issue that's been resolved. On the Pasadena level on the lower floor guys um, it was about two inches too high you were standing like two inches too high so it seemed like the cabs were a bit smaller um, at least in height but that has now been resolved and your feet are firmly on the floor. 
Both Pac-Man and Rock and Rope screen rotation issues have been fixed. Let's take a look. So here we are guys at Pac-Man Plus. And if we start this now, it should be the right way up and the, uh, the size of the screen is now correct. Let's go have a look at Rock and Rope. So here we are at Rock and Rope guys. Start that up. And we are all all sweet so that's been fixed however guys unfortunately good old mk2 has not been fixed yet however it was looking for the wrong rom previously it's now looking for the right rom but it still crashes uh, you'll find that it will start the rom you won't see anything you'll hear the mortal Kombat music but there's an error that's got, got thrown so half deck uh, is aware of it of course and uh, hopefully we'll see a fix for that in an upcoming patch. There was also an issue fixed guys in relation to Tetris, uh, Rambo 3 and Jungle Hunt. If you were playing those games and you sort of leant back a little it would put the video of the attract mode over the top of your screen until you link back forward and then you'd see your game again. So that's been resolved for those three games. If you turn the sound volume down on the Pasadena level previously it would actually start going back up again when you got down to zero so that's been fixed. On level six some very uh, uh, observant person found that there were a couple of stools in there that were flo floating around like a Ghostbusters movie so I have to put those stools back down on the ground. It's also mentioned here that he's addressed a number of compatibility issues that may have uh, meant the game wouldn't even run on some systems. There's no other specific details there, guys, but if you had problems running it before, then obviously get in there and give it another try. And there was, he's fixed an issue which, uh, which I definitely noticed, and you guys probably did too, I'll show you. And that is now that when you bring up the menu, See the little dot in the middle? It doesn't start sliding around the place. So you can just move it with your uh, controller, uh, but it doesn't go wandering on its own where it did before. So again, guys, you know, I could just use this right-hand controller to go around here and select where I want to go one-handed, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, or I could, could, have, I could use the, the point on the left-hand side to do the same thing. Okay, and two new known issues have arisen with this release. Uh, locomotion, that smooth movement down on this Pasadena level may not be smooth for you. There's just a lot more going on on this level uh, and there's, there's plenty of opportunity where half deck can do a little bit more optimization, so that may happen in the future. For now though, you may get some micro stutters or some stuttering depending on your hardware. So the last little uh, Known issue is that on level six, if you want to get funky and teleport yourself from this side of the room over to this side of the room, around the back, <laughs> you could do so. So instead of going all the way around, guys, want a quick shortcut? <laughs> Go up to the wall, teleport yourself in. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be fixed in a later patch too. For you guys that want to do it the uh, more human way, you just race around and go around this way, the long way. Alrighty. Alright guys, so with the music now, the cool thing is, you just need to hop into content, under movies, then music, under singles, and then here you can put under each of these years, and they do need to be these years currently, but you can put in here any music you like, uh, you can put uh, up to any number that you want, but the more that you put in here, it may impact performance, so just be conscious of that. Uh, but you don't have to change the names of the music files, and you can just choose and put in anything you like. Um, the reason why that you have to put them under these particular years, if you look in the updated instructions for the music, it tells you uh, which level uses the songs from which subdirectories with these years in it, guys. So that's how that works. Certain floors use songs from certain subdirectories with those years. So check that out in the instructions. 
Uh, again, level six doesn't have any music, uh, but other than that, you now can put whatever you like in those subdirectories and that'll play in the arcade time capsule. Now, a couple of final things. If you do upgrade, like copy over your existing 2.0, uh, you will lose your high scores uh, under the plugins save main 2010 directory. So plugins save main 2010 and under high, these are all your high score saves uh, for the ones there that are supported. So just don't copy over that if you want to keep your high scores from version 2.0. Okay guys, that is it for the patch update. That's everything that's included in it. I think it's a really nice update. It addresses a lot of the common questions and um, feedback that came up. Love the smooth locomotion. Now that we have this set up, now I feel like I can move around the arcade smoothly. I'm gonna get into some playing some games and share that with you guys. Make sure you subscribe for that and also other ATC content coming up, the Arcade Time Capsule, got to start calling it ATC, uh, across the channel. And, uh, and also some VPX pinball stuff if you're into that as well, guys. Lots of VR content, lots of arcade stuff. Stick with me on the journey, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. And until then, ciao for now.